I started implementing formative assessment more commonly in my classroom this year because I realized it's a lot easier to clarify any misconceptions a student might, ha might have on a topic or the content at that point than having to go back after a test and figure out where they might have confusion in the weeks prior. So we're able to clarify a lot of misconception and a lot of the students are able to see that they're not the only ones with that issue or with that question. Um, this fist of five is a new technique um, that I got at the last training and I really enjoyed it because it made me as an adult and a teacher familiar with the science content area actually think about my thought process and my knowledge of the questions that's being asked. And so I thought it was a great way for the students to actually have an opportunity to do the same thing. And they can't just go on, I don't know. They have to honestly think about their thought process of what don't they know. Um, one thing you do have to clarify with the students prior to the activity is that if you hold up a fist, you're not in the clear. Um, I'm not only going to choose the students that are holding up four or fives because they're confident with their answers. I might choose a student with a fist or a one or two so they can tell me where they're getting confused or what they might be thinking or what question that they still have. Another activity we did was the colored cards. It's a great activity. Um, prior to, please be sure and tell the students it's not a fan because they will fan them around. Um, but they did a great job and you just have to clarify and make sure that they're aware that they need to show outwardly the correct answer and they're not looking at the correct answer. And they can't hold it sideways um, for their unknowns, but you can do that also. Overall formative assessments are beneficial for the students and the teachers because the students who are more lenient and scared to raise their hands and answer a question, this is requiring everyone to raise their hand. Everyone has to show a number and not necessarily their friends are seeing what numbers they're showing and they're getting a little bit more confident with their knowledge and willing to share or willing to share out a question because you say okay I see a lot of zeros or a lot of ones which of you would like to share what question or confusion you might have so this helps the students become risk takers and it's being it's okay to not know an answer it's okay to ask a question and it helps the teacher um, guide the discussion and get into then the Socratic questioning of what part of Bloom's taxonomy questions are they starting to fall back on? What level are they getting more challenged at? Maybe they know the content, they just don't understand the question. So a lot of times on Fist to Five you can adjust your questioning and get the students <clears throat> able to answer open-ended questions, whereas if you were not able to do that beforehand, they would just be too timid to address the question to begin with.